YouTube, it's Morgan. I'm back for the third time, literally today. Um, I am just in bed clothes, but I'm getting ready to pin curl my hair up. Um, I've also been wanting to do my pin curls. My hair is quite dense. It's it's getting there. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to go ahead, it's cleanly washed, it's starting to have some frizz going on, and I'm going to firstly take my Nexus Curling Cream, uh, maybe, it's going to be a little bit of a long video, but I want to compact a lot of information for you guys, I'm just going to work this through the length mainly just so I can get a good nice look my heat protectant I just stick in this I'll put all the information for all my products down there try And brush this all out. Blend it in. Also, if you have any hair extensions, you can also pin curl your hair. Pin curl hair. <laughs> hair. Um, you're going to need a curl it in. Oh, I have to use two for mine. Oh no! Don't fall. Don't you fall, guys? Everything's crashing today. Um, I'm using my Pro Beauty Tool, it's about half of an inch, maybe over, but like this, yeah. and then I'm also going to be using my curling wand for the length, and I have my favorite hairsprays, the Salon Selectives, All Day Control Hold, need that bad boy. You can also use spurt spray as well. I got a big thing of combs. And got my water. I'm using bobby pins. Just to pin them. Just because it's a lot easier for me to do it. I'm going to head and find my part which is in the back there. I'm just going to start right here first. So all this needs to come up off of me. Now sometimes this part will fall out. That's perfectly fine with me because that I always have to pin up a lot of this because where I have Raise amount of layers. And usually this part as well. I'm like a crazy person usually with these fancy dancy hair clips. But then I have all back in here to work with. My hair is growing, so don't mind that. Um, I'm going to be using my teasing comb just to get it nice and smooth. Got a few bobby pins. Just go over by my counter. I'm going to start right here. I don't like to do um, big pieces. I like to do mm, about that. You can't really see through it, but it's small enough. I'll go ahead and brush through. You can spray it before. Take your mine is set at 375. Always, my shirt is going down. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start to begin to roll. If you're wondering um, why I haven't 
And I'm just going to kind of roll it up. This is my style of pen curls. You guys can do. Ow. You can do your own type of pin curls. It's mostly up to your length. Or how um, good your hair holds. My hair, on the other hand, like it can hold curls. But with me having short hair, it's harder for me. Make sure you go ahead and smooth out your section. Usually, I have to use another clip just to hold it out of the way because it annoys me. Go ahead and get close enough to really get in there. Grab your curl, especially if it's actually in a curl. <laughs> Bobby pins are easier for me to do. Me having shorter hair, do this one or back to get it out of the way. You can come out with your fingers if you really want. But this one since I can't really see it. I want to get a big, uh oh, nope. I want to get a bigger mirror and have it like back here so I can actually see because you guys are liking these hair tutorials better than anything I didn't know I you know good at doing it You can do all different kinds of like small to medium pin curls. Do whatever floats your boat. That's how I see it. You should feel. Don't hold it on too long. I usually don't anyway. You can hold it on for however long that you feel is necessary for your hair. Since my hair is shorter, I hate putting heat on my hair anymore. I haven't in a while. But the pink curls, this is the only one I know how. Um, I know you can probably do like the wet ones, but. For my length of hair, this is the easiest. When my hair is longer, uh, I was actually able to do a lot more. Two more on this lower section. Now we'll get up the ear. And you can go vertical sections. Not for all is and all if you don't want. You can also go front back. Mm, you know what I mean, like toward your face, away from your face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is actually If you guys haven't seen my roller video for um, my mesh, not mesh, um, my, <sighs> see, you guys, it's been kind of a long day already. It's, these ones, 
the Velcro. Okay, now we've got the back. I'll spray it. Now I can start working on my smaller section here because it's actually a lot easier and quicker to do. It's going to get me a good section here. I don't start using my other curler until like this top. That's only if I use it for this one. If you guys want a video all on me doing those ones, let me know in the comments and I will do it. Or a hair care routine. And if you guys like it this way better, let me know. That's always a good thing for me to know if you definitely like it this better angle than the other angles I've had let me know because you never know you know some people oh my gosh. if you're wondering what these are here they are heat rashes heat bulb. I get them because it's so hot here where I live Ridiculous. That's a really cute pin curl if you guys see there. This one a little closer to you. I hope you guys are close enough to me. I feel like you guys are. You guys are actually perfect close. Um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram. I do have an Instagram. Hopefully you guys follow me there because I upload frequently on there about my videos. Different things that are going on in my life. Well, I was going to do a pin curl, not a pin curl, so I'm doing out the, um, a, um, well, I'm looking at them right now, flexi rod, there we go, I'm going to do this big section here, just get it out of my way, I don't want to burn my ear either, It's terrifying when you get a short hair. And you're like, oh, I don't want to put my hair off. It's a wacky piece there, but I usually morph it around just to pink it out of my way. If you guys like videos like this, that is just kind of like straightforward and not sped up, let me know, because I don't know if you guys like seeing sped up ones or just me, you know, talking, or if you guys want just voiceovers, I guess some people might prefer that. It doesn't matter. my harder sections to curl and I'm feeling rare. This is why I do regular um, regular um, like the flexi rods and stuff like that because they are ten times easier to use and I can do it right after I literally wash my hair. Okay. This is a bigger section that's perfectly 
fine. Going up. So, ow! I'm gonna hold it here for just a few minutes. Or, not even a minute. Just enough to, as you can see, just to get a good curl up on top. And just try. There we go. Yay. As we'll see the after tomorrow morning. Oh, let's see. Got some baby hairs. She has some love baby hairs. If you do, <laughs> like this video. <laughs> I don't like baby hairs. They are so annoying sometimes. Depending. Sometimes they're cute. But. Maybe on babies, they're cute. <laughs> no, me. Okay. We're not even at twenty minutes, guys. All good. I personally, like I don't mind doing pink curls, it's just the aspect of, you know, you have to take them in and out, so you have to pin them up, and then for like the flexi rods, the velcro, velcro um, you don't really have to worry about that. That's my personal take. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this last section. This bigger curling iron is actually way better for me to use because I can actually grasp it a lot better. And there's that. I'm just going to spray it up. And also a way to pin with bobby pins. Okay. You have your flat piece. That should actually go over top of the hair. Um, because the flat piece usually doesn't make like the ridges. It's down here. So you open it. And this is where your hair will go. Like it go like that. This part would be touching your head. If that makes any sense. I think it makes I think I explained it quite a bit, so okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this side. Because if you have layers like I do you are going to be in for a treat because my layers usually fall down and entwine and I usually have to pin a bunch of them up like I just did. I'm going to go ahead and do this section. You can use a curling wand, you can also do the regular style which is Get out of the shower and like curl it around your finger and do it that way. You'll get curls that way too. But my personal take on bin curls is using a, a curling iron or a flat iron. If you're wondering if this will turn into a curl, Yes, it will. I twirl it back and it usually turns into a curl and I had no 
problems. I'm going to pin that. I do have a loose section here. And when that happens, just take another pin and just pin it down. That's usually all you have to. Ow. Just going to take a section. And usually my bangs like to come out and play. Um, you can also tease sections, but usually, and I personally do anything with um, curls like these. Usually, I get crazy volume from it, so I really don't have to try. Excuse me. Getting the fun little hiccups. Oh, don't like it. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Get in there, little girl. I hate small layers. But that's what I wanted in my because I did it myself. You guys can go see that video as well. So I'll take this pen and grab it up. We're almost done. Almost. My hair is so thick. It's even thicker than this whenever I have longer hair. It's crazy. I'm taking a bigger section. I usually will take a bigger section and curl it. Now, if some of them fall out, then I know I took too big. So I will have to curl those separately. Go ahead and I'm going to curl this separate. It's a really fast. A little curl. One, two, three, four, five. Taking a pin. Boop. And this little raggedy curl here. Drive me nuts. There. I'm going to spray it. Lost pin, whatever I've done. Get some more. You run out. Uh, I'll show you what I do. Sorry about that. Let me see this cake done. Gonna have that AC right now. I just smooth out with my teasing brush because it just makes it a lot smoother. Again. I start from the root on longer pieces that I can, and you know, I hold it there just to get that volume up there, um, especially back in here, because I do have shorter pieces, and sometimes it looks a lot better when they are, sure, I'm trying to work this, go ahead, the halfway point. When I get to the little bit of top here, I'm at halfway. So again here. Let's zoom guys in just a little closer. There we go. See? Smooth. Always smooth out your piece. Now I have a split here. I don't know if you guys can see. See that little opening? I'll have to go ahead and divide that another section. 
that's how I do it anyway. See steam, that's fine, it's not burning my hair. I'll show you a good technique in just a second. Okay, when I do a side piece like this, or any piece usually, I start on the root. See there? Start. Just don't touch your scalp because it'll be hot. Of course. And slowly pull where it's like this. Let me get you guys a closer shot. See there? See here? Now watch. Take your bobby pin. Of course, with the wavy side down. Why it's still hot. Grab it from both sides and then take your bobby pin and poke it down and it will hold. Put it back you guys up. There we go. I don't want to have the camera unfocused. And I'm going to start horizontal sections to the back. That's usually what I do is do horizontal even whenever I do my favorite rollers which is the velcro I will do the horizontal like it, where I actually just curl my hair like without pinning it or anything I do it like that take your hair wrap it around get to the end and hold it here Focus you guys in. There you go. See? My hair has some natural shine to it, don't Just noticing it. Hold. I kind of bunch it up at the top like that so it creates volume. Go ahead and do another horizontal section or horizontal. I never can say that word right. It happens. It happens for the best of us. If you guys are liking this video, like it. The thumbs up down there. <laughs> you guys cannot really see because I'm too focused. There we go. piece. That's fine. We'll curl her. It's like you guys have moved. I'm going to take her or something. Why are you guys? Let me see. There. That's the, that's the problem. Okay, since this one fell out, just gonna repeat. Do a little pan curly action. Just to do one little piece. That's fine. I'm going to spray the very tippy top. Okay. Now I'm going to start vertical sections down. Guys, sorry about that. Camera shut off. We're almost done. Almost. few more sections to go. I'm holding this and we'll get a few more bobby pins. Get this set. And sometimes my camera don't like me. They'll say you've been filming too longer. Mmm, what hell you see here? It takes a long time to do pin curls. I usually would fast forward through this, but you guys need to know how to do it. Just 
trust me. And it makes your life a lot easier. When you know how to do different curling methods. I'm going to focus you guys in just a little bit more. Just so I can show you guys how to do the bang area. Because I do have swept bangs. I'll do one, one horizontal section. Actually two. I do two. Uh, horizontal sections. You guys, my grammar today. It's been one of those days. As you can see, right there. So slide out. Slide out, girl. Do 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 do. Oh, just a little bit. Is that good? Good. Okay. Now, we got two more sections, and then we's done. We is done. I'm going to do one to the back. One to the backy back section. <laughs> since it is pretty close to my forehead I'm going to take it in without burning myself Ugh. I'm just going to slide it on oh yeah old time <laughs> oh my god okay for this section I'm actually going to flip it like that Hey, guys, we are done. Make sure you turn off your hot tool. Now, if you want, you can get some like spray argan oil. You can spray it down. I've got a few more pieces that needs to be should pull it down. I uh, will show you guys the finished product. Uh, yep, as you can see, I brought that one piece that was kind of curled like that. I brought it back the opposite way. So, whenever it's cooled, it should go back that way. And I'll show you guys the full result after me taking them out, or I can do a whole video dedicated to that but I did do a deep side part if you guys didn't know um, I always start where this corner is up here I always stop it right, right here so it's always like this I'll show you guys a little bit closer so you guys know what I mean like this is Right here, it should go like this. It'll be diagonal, and then it should be straight down like from here. It should be straight down to the end of my eyebrow. So it should be straight down to this, diagonal to that. So it's always to this eyebrow, which is my right eyebrow. Well, to you, it's still my right, I think. Oh my god, that's late. But again, deep side part, mine always goes to the end of my right eyebrow and diagonal to beginning of my right one. That's how I always detail it to make sure it's correct. And I might put a thing over top just to safely keep everything in. A little later, but I won't right now because I'm not going to bed quite yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
And I know a few of you guys actually wanted to see this video. And please like and subscribe to see more videos. And if you guys want any more videos, let me know. And I love you guys and have a great day.